Welcome back, World Cup companions. We are over three quarters of the way through the tournament for its the quarter-final stage. Germany and Russia at war once again, this time over the territory of a solid golden boot, of which so far Thomas Muller is winning the battle. France have advanced. They are undeterred by the biased home stance of their opponents today. The unbeaten Blues take on the underdogs, the hosts, Russia. A historic occasion underway, not since 1966 has the Soviet Union have the Russians reached this stage of the competition. And by comparison, France are used to facing competition like Italy, Brazil, Germany, at the quarter-final point of their previous World Cups. The Russians may not be as attractive opposition, but they certainly cannot be underestimated either. Giroud notices Griezmann on the other side of the fence, shares it with Pogba. Any other goalkeeper wouldn't stand a chance from that kind of range. First corner of the game, and Mr. France! Direct hit from Matuidi. Smolov. Here comes Russia against the run of play. And then there's Mrs. Samadov with the cross. Russia get the first goal. And who else but Smolov? And then there's missed times the free pass. He misses wildly. And Fyodor Smolov like a shark smelling blood. There's seven victims so far. Mbappe is denied at the near post. Giroud. There is Pogba, and that was a wicked deflection. Cool hands, it comes off the inside of one thigh, the outside of another. And quick reflexes from Igor Rakenfaev. Golovin cuts inside, and he earns Russia a corner. Needs a good delivery from Griezmann, 20 minutes in, and France still yet to respond. And Mourani! Akinfaev. Soaring across the sky to preserve and nurture Russia's lead. Seven saves for Akinfaev versus Larissa's one. What a busy boy he's been. And Matuidi relieves him on that occasion. Conte finally works away through to Griezmann. Griezmann across the face of goal. Giroud misses and Mbappe doesn't. To quote Alison Chains, here comes the rooster. Akin Fayev was like a brick, but there were cracks in it and Kylian Mbappe compromised it. Third goal of the World Cup for him. Here is Mbappe again, that blistering pace and this time it's a good cross. And Matuidi can't bring it on target. Pressure on from France as Griezmann with a lovely one-two from Giroud. And he lets him down on the finish. Pavard to Pogba, back to Pavard. And Giroud's the target! And bang on the hour! Come off the hour, Olivier Giroud has turned the game around for the Blues. A chaotic lofted cross that causes confusion for all except Olivier. Zubnin to Smolov, he's dropping back deep. Here is Miranchuk. He skips past Varane. Moranchuk! Oh, he deserved to score that one. That would have been a great goal. 12 minutes left. And Fekir has picked up Griezmann! With one of the great World Cup goals that surely secures their place in the semi-final. Their third one in 20 years. It's a dream volley. And this one is far from favoured right foot. Perfection from the Petit Prince.
It's all or nothing now for Russia. They might have a way back in it with Sheryshev. Misunderstanding how much time he truly had. Sheryshev's broken away from Pavard enough to get in. The last ditch cross to Smolov. It's kept up by the shoe of Luis and that's the last kick of the game. It's all over for the hosts. The festival of football comes to an end for the motherland. Expectations were exceeded, they can be proud, but it's Russia 1, France 3. If we've learnt anything from Sweden on this channel and these tournaments, is that their campaigns really get started once they reach the knockout stages. Belgium and England are the only two teams not to have conceded a single goal. So therefore Sweden's attack better not get too many ideas. A fling with France is up for grabs in the semi-finals. Al Hazard trying his luck against Alton at the near post. Tongue with a deep ball in, knocked across the face of Colin Witzel. Scored from an almost similar position against Senegal. Ever since the Tunisia game, there's been a series of very narrow, slender 1 0 victories for the Belgians. De Bruyne. Oh, it's a bullet! A Belgian bazooka! Tintin taps that ass! In courtesy of that strike, Belgium have their fastest goal of the World Cup so far. Eight minutes is all they needed to take the outstanding Olsen down a step or two. Only Germany and Mexico have tasted the sweet nectar of Sweden's goal so far. Here's Kevin De Bruyne, Belgium's goal scorer. It sets up Hazard to extend the lead for the Belgians. Now we are at panic stations for Sweden. Not even 15 minutes have gone by and now they are two goals down. Two very dangerous opponents. Fellaini has found Lukaku. Beautiful pass and Hazard gets his second. And at this rate, Belgium are going to average a goal every 10 minutes. Darkness clouds the dark horses of Sweden. Of all players, Lukaku becomes the makeshift playmaker. What a finish from Hazard, though. Now Sweden are playing for pride. Place it. Well, talking of pride, that's a goal to be proud of. And Belgium's defence was bewildered. They were too busy fantasizing about a French semi final to pay attention to Ola Toivonen. It's Marcus Berg. He's tapped it onto Toivonen. A remarkable series of replies that would have been for Sweden. Toivonen gets it again, this time for McDowell. Oh, that's an agonizing miss. Lindolf. Toivonen cuts inside. Here's Berg. Berg! Well, he was the glorious hero against Serbia. It's three on three. That's over the top to Berg! He brings it down on the body. Courtois gets his body in the way. Was it could have been better when well, he's done the job. Sweden have a penalty. And Kevin De Bruyne goes from goal scoring hero to a potential goal giving villain. And it's going to be the captain. Scores! Sweden are back in the game. We are going to have a dramatic climax here in Qatar. Have you ever seen such a proactive penalty kick taken from a centre back? Well, De Bruyne has leapfrogged everyone. Lukaku with a far post. Cushioned by Olsen. Yudetti, no good by himself. Has to hold up play. Berg. Simple stretch from Courtois. Berg's pinned it in! He screams past the top corner. Next goal. Surely the decisive one, the cock is reaching out of De Bruyne's gift. Four, maybe five in the wall versus Forsberg. Immense pressure on the shoulders of the playmaker. Gets it over the wall, but it's directly to the face of Courtois. Sweden with a chance with two minutes left to play. 
Feeling. It trickles past the goal. Hazard's not going to play the long game, sticking it in the corner. Because Fellaini has reaped the rewards of the risk. Belgium will face France in St. Petersburg. Almost telepathic anticipation from Fellaini. That's what he's brilliant at when he can be bothered. That brace from Hazard takes his tally up to three. Belgium began like starving lions. The bellies were full and Sweden caught up. But just not enough. It's Sweden two, Belgium four. It's time for a classic World Cup showdown in Samara. The old rivalry is revived. Germany will take on England. England have not beaten Germany since 1966. And we all know what game that was. Since then, the Germans have eliminated England in 1970, 1990 and 2010. Of course, the wounds are still being felt as is the influence of Frank Lampard's phantom goal, of which we can thank for goal line technology. The world champions blew through Brazil. Let's see what chance Southgate's men stand. Harry Kane initiates the first attack for England of the game, and Ashley Young finds the side netting. Bit of a wasteful opportunity. Now here comes Germany. Ansel returns it to Marco Boyce, and this is how dangerous they can be. And coming forward, and he jumps the gun. And trying to jump it over Pickford's head. Trippier galloping down the flank. It's Sterling. Oh, he flashes it across the face of goal. It smacks off the other side of the crossbar on the way down. And this time, there's no doubt about it crossing Manuel Neuer's goal line. You can almost hear Raheem Sterling saying, that one was for you, Frank. Bounces off the frame of the goal. Ripples into the roof of its net. England take the dream start against the world champions, Germany. Deli Alley, England, are showing no fear. Sterling this time is directly at Neuer. It was imperative that he narrows his handle against Sterling. Look how far out the captain comes. That's a spread the play to Muller. Kedera, and now Germany triggering the tiki tack. Kedera, Gomez lays it off to Ertzil. Luckily for England, Harry Maguire's big bony knee stops it. That was cleared away. Kedera. Close will get another chance with the cross in, and Gomez resets the scoreboard for Germany. England lose the lead exactly seven minutes after taking it. And by this point, it's Germany's veteran standby striker, Mario Gomez, Joaquin Rowe's favourite player, takes him everywhere he goes, and justifies his start ahead of the injured Timo Werner. Trippier, good ball in, but Manuel Neuer knows that all too well. Can't afford to allow England to benefit from it. Now here comes Raheem Sterling, the scouts mess it. <laughs> Seems to let the stones to cross at two stones. Closer switching, play to Kimmich. Russell's just nicked it on through and he's gone down. Penalty to Germany. And now for the first time, England may be losing their grip on the game. May not have taken long for England to find another scapegoat for another World Cup exit. John Stones with a needless penalty on Mehta Ertzil. Timo Muller, the claim goal number eight. Oh, and Pickford won't allow it. Could you believe it? England save a German penalty at a World Cup. It's a start. Didier returns, looks up and finds Kimmich. And again, Muller is drifting in behind that English defence, the round outer. The space interpreter misinterprets the shot. Sterling, Hummels can't keep up. Oh, Manuel Neuer, the 11th outfield player. Gomez. Ertel. Oh, that's a good pass to Royce, who shares it with Gomez. An unselfish push to the back of Mario Gomez. To help him gain his second goal. 
And just as they did in 2002, England go behind in a World Cup quarter-final before half-time. Perfect pass from Lingard to Kane, who scores, but the heroic half-time equaliser is null and void, offside. Mario Gomez glittering in this World Cup quarter-final. Marco Royce patiently holding up the play, Germany playing a bit more relaxing football now, as Gomez is trying to curl it over the head of Pickford. Well, to the centre to Kadira, Gomez! Oh, and the fourth half of the stadium thought that was a third for Germany in the hat-trick. Henderson up the line to Harry Kane. One hour played, and it's Deli Alley. It screeches wide. Drassler with an underwhelming cross. Red by Stones. It's Gadira. Well, on the turn, he hits the post. And there's chaos in that penalty area. What a strike from Thomas Muller. So unfortunate not to get goal number eight. And the follow-up from Gomez was fortunately at Pickford. Young's gone in behind. The German defence is across into the area. Oh, and they both missed it. Rashford. Neuer comes out and clears. Deli Alley spins across the surface into the safe hands of Neuer. Well, it's not coming home, but England are going home. It all started so well against Germany. Raheem Sterling's redemption for 2010's phantom goal of Frank Lampard. But the world champions march on through. It's Germany 2, England 1. And what could be the last chance to see the living legends, Ronaldo, take on Messi in the same game at a FIFA World Cup. Your final quarter final will consist of the showcase of the Immortals. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Cristiano Ronaldo versus Lionel Messi. The two greatest footballers of our generation to have never won the World Cup. Thanks to Portugal, the rest of the World Cup may be ruined now. Nothing can surpass the excitement of that 6-5 thriller against Uruguay in the previous round. Lionel Messi dragged Argentina through the mud in their clash with Australia. He's on six goals now. Cristiano Ronaldo only on one. Tagliafico trying to make Carvalho dizzy. He passes it straight into the grass with Patricio. Cedric acting as a makeshift winger. Ronaldo. And that's into the grass with Armani in similar fashion to Tagliafico's. Bernardo Silva cuts inside. Silva is a good stretch from Armani. It's brought down by Messi. Higuain back to Lionel Messi, who slips on the crucial strike. One more touch from the King, and he may have been in. Messi tormenting Carvalho. Higuain knocks it on to Di Maria. Argentina strike first. Messi looks over at Cristiano, says, your move, Ronaldo. Angel Di Maria, one of football to his decorated players. A man who has a resume for playing with as many superstars as Messi and Ronaldo has thumped the other Celeste into the lead. Valier backwards to Ronaldo, chops inside. And there's preemptive strike, skiddles out of play for a corner. Down, oh, has gone through. The fourth goal from Andre Silva in the fourth quarter final. The Sele Shell very quickly cancel out Argentina's lead. And as you can see, it comes off the foot of Rojo. Well, Silva's claiming it. He's relieving Rojo of the burden of an own goal. Guedes down the flank to Andre Silva. Good save from Omani. The Kung Fu kick. Parried by Franco Armani. Where there slams on the brakes, he finds Ronaldo who hits it first time. Thankfully, Marcus Rojo doesn't score on that deflection. Higuain collects it up line by Di Maria. Is still Gonzalo Higuain. He's holding on to it. He's been brought down. No penalty, says the referee. 
It's a scramble in that Portuguese box. Nearly through the legs of Pepe. How on earth did he get away with not conceding a penalty? Tagli Fico yet again as Argentina's makeshift playmaker. Di Maria forbidden a second goal. Silva's knocked it on to Moutinho. Ronaldo. Silva back to the captain. CR7 gets his second. And now he's smirking over at his legendary counterpart, Lionel Messi. They've done it, Germany. They turned the game around and stolen the lead just before the half time break. Higuain. Benega opens up the body and snaps a shot. It goes wide. We know he loves to hit them from range. Perez with a lovely pass. Lionel Messi, here's his moment. And he cannot believe he's missed. Beautiful cross in from Benega. Messi goes down. And the referee doesn't see it again. Jean Mario receives it from Ronaldo. Still Jean Mario. Back to Ronaldo. Back into the centre. And Moutinho misses the chance of a lifetime to put Portugal two goals up. You know, Fernandes. Fernandes! And the crossbar literally moves from the earth and lands back on the turf. Higuain puts a through to Messi. Oh, Patricio with a bravest save and is cleared off the goal line as it's dipping onto the goal. Incredible drama here in Sochi. It's spinning, spinning towards that goal line. Heroic clearance from Pepe. Dybala. Speeding on towards goal, five minutes for Argentina to force extra time. And they can't carry it over the line. Ibala knocks it on to Bilia. What hope? Higuain! Oh, and it's fired at Patricio. What a save. Ibala couldn't have hit this any sweeter if he tried. Portugal join the final four. And Sochi seems to be designated the stage of drama in this World Cup. Messi goes home. Ronaldo extends his stay as Portugal 2, Argentina 1. Four very eventful quarterfinals culminate with four semi-final participants. Art imitates life as France take on Belgium. And then European champions Portugal battle world champions Germany. Thomas Muller and Theodore Smolov have one hand each on that golden boot. Messi's trout against Portugal ensures he stays on six. And Andre Silva has a chance to surpass Cavani in the semi finals. Well, if you had to choose, who do you think will go through? Four brilliant quarter-final bouts. Which one was your favourite? Let me know below. Don't miss next week's semi-finals and the goal of the tournament. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in St. Petersburg.